Okay, so <clears throat> colloquial Tibetan class 1,004,072. Uh, how do you say welcome? Like if someone comes to your house in Tibet. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> nothing, nothing. We spent the whole class on it. You say chak, chapep. Chapep. No. <laughs> Almost. That's half of it. Chapep then juke. No. Chapep. Chapep. Nang. 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 Ah, yes. Nang. Chung. Chung. You have not been listening to the audios, have you? Don't lie to me. Exactly. Okay. Uh huh. Because if you listen to the audios, you wouldn't be pronouncing it like that, which is the point of the audios. Because they don't say chak pep, they say cha pep nanjo. Yeah. Because it's a, that G becomes a what? What is it called when you cut the G off? Crickets. It's called a galato stop. Someone raised their hand. Who was that? I didn't see it till late. Was that what you gonna say, Lydia? Okay, good. <laughs> Lydia knew. All right, let's just start from the beginning. We'll review and then I John can see it too. And maybe it'll jog your memory. <clears throat> All right, let's. All right. Here we are. Remember this? Kind of. All right, who's, uh, whose name is this? What does that name say? Sunam. Sunam, married. Mm -hmm. Good, and who's the other person in the dialogue? Lydia. Um, sharing. It's sharing. Small. Yeah, good, tering. Um, it's easy to miss that little flag when it's small. What does tering mean? Anyone? Long life. Yeah, good, long life. Perfect. <laughs> all right, just a reminder. It's in, that's in scripture all the time. You see tse all the time in scripture because it means in that instance, it also means life and Buddhists are constantly talking about this life, the life before, the life after, consecutive lives, all your past lives and stuff like that, right? Why are Buddhists always talking about past lives and stuff? It is when we screwed up, maybe. Because if you don't believe in past lives, you don't believe in future lives. <laughs> Leaving future lives, as the Hasso says, short amount of time in Buddhism, seven lifetimes. So <laughs> you won't have any motivation to practice. All right. Okay. Let us continue. All right. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be tering, and. Hasso is going to be Sunam in the dialogue. You ready, Hasso? You're going to read the Tibetan perfectly, and then you're going to translate it perfectly. You ready? Ready. <laughs> and you don't have to translate the names, all right? It's just standing and standing, Sunam is Sunam, all right? 
Okay. All right. I just like you all to know what those mean. All right, go ahead, read this. Setting. Chakpeng ang chung. Now, read the words on the screen. Setting. Setting la. Thank you. Chakpeng ang chung. Yeah, chape. Chape na nang chung. 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 Why is it chung and not chung? Uh, because it's a yatak after the the ba. So it's a, it makes the sound of cha. Cha. It's third column, so it's it's cha. Yeah. Yeah, it's not not the English J. Mm -hmm. If I had an apostrophe in front of it, which a form of this verb does. Uh. Who's, wait, Rivas, I'm looking at you. Who's Rin Chen Jung? Rat, Ratna Sambhava. Do you ever heard of that guy? <laughs> You can deny it if you want. It's it's appropriate to deny it here. Okay. Um, all right. So I say as setting. Okay, wait, translate it, Mr. Hasso. What setting la? What's that mean? Setting la, like well, setting. Um well you have arrived. Welcome. It just means like well, yeah, it just means yeah, setting. Welcome. Welcome. Literally, it's your hand is here, <laughs> but you have arrived. This is is correct, but it's basically welcome. Okay, and I say, um, um okay, la uh, yu um What does what does that mean, Hasso? Um, it's another form of. How are you? It means something like how how you've been sitting, how how's the yeah, have you been sitting sitting down well or something? <laughs> that is what it means. How's going? How Literally. how you been? Yeah, how you been? That is a perfect translation. Yeah. Right? How's it been? How are you been? Right? As opposed to how are you? Right? Okay, good. I like that translation. I don't, what do they say here? Are you doing well? Yeah, that's, I like Hasso's translations better. Okay, um, your sunam, go ahead. Um, sunam, uh, la, la ye, mm -hmm. um, keran kusu de poyimpe. Yeah, why'd you say la ye? La ye, because I, it's like, yes, I have been, I have been sitting well somehow, like I've been, I have been well. Yeah, perfect. I like that. Yeah. Um, have you been well? I yeah. have or have. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And what does this mean? Karankusu de Poyimpe. Karankusu de Poyimpe. How you been treating this holy body? <laughs> It's it's more how does this how does your holy body feel? Yeah. Is your holy is your holy body feeling right. good? Because yeah. de yeah, because what's what's de mean? Um, um, bliss. Yeah, it's it's a goodness, but in the sense of feeling. Yeah, what's de chen? Uh, great, great bliss. Yeah, how do you say that in Sanskrit? Uh, Mahasuka. Perfect. Exactly. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget Mahasuka. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm setting. Wait, I'm setting, right? I, um, am I setting? I, was, I already lost track. Yeah, you are. Okay. La yin. Keran kusu de po yin pe. 
Why they say la yin and not la yu? Because in this one, it's more like I am more than I have been or, or yeah, it's more, I don't know how to say, the more direct form of the verb is or to be. Yeah, and the last question was a... Ah, yeah, it's anticipatory um, answer as well, but yeah, the question had the gene form. Exactly. Perfect. Very good. Um, so, uh, yeah, can I go to the point? And I can say, la yin, uh, la, la de point. Yeah, either one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it says, yar, yar, yar pep. Mm -hmm. um, that means come in, right? Yar pep. Mm -hmm. Shook, shook then. Shukten Chak. Shukten Ja. Shukten Cha. Shukten Ja. Ah, Shuteng Ja. I remember how they pronounce. Shuteng Ja. Shuteng Ja. Don't go up. Shukten Ja. Shukten Ja. Yeah, like Shukten Ja. You pay Shukten Ja. Same. Shukten Ja. Yeah, what does this Shukten Ja mean? I just remember the whole sentence is take a seat. Yeah, well, shukten ja you pay means how have you been? How have you been? So, um, but literally it means have you been sitting comfortably? So now this is saying come in and sit comfortably. Ah, okay. Right. This is. Can, can we divide that um, sentence? It's like shuk. Ten is to sit, right? Ten, not ten. Ten. Ten is also a seat. Gao Tana Ten G T A N. Okay. But this is. Oh wait, or is that Sata Tata? Oh, I think that might be Sata Tata. Not ten. Anyway, there's a few verbs relate related like de, te, ten. Um, let me show you, okay? This is another thing. This is the same exact thing I showed you with what other. Um, series of words. Remember mar, me, oh, yeah. mu. Okay, so I'm telling you, this is a faster way to learn Tibetan if you can see the commonalities and how the words are connected. Otherwise, you're just memorizing um, separate words, you understand? Mm -hmm. Like if you know the meaning of the word demonstrate and someone says demonstrative, you're like, oh, it demonstrated it. You know what I'm saying? You don't, it's not a separate thing. Mm -hmm. Like right and righteous, they're mm. you know, forms of the same root word. Okay. So you don't want to know about near near. Okay, look, here's then. Then. Okay, seat cushion, right? Also asana. Mm -hmm. Because asana means helps you to sit down. Asana. Yeah. Where's your butt? Where's your ass? Literally. Yeah. Right? Uh yeah. So where are you sitting? How do you sit? Um okay, so I think it's this 10. Yeah. Related. So you see the sometimes it's in the same column, like the da and the. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let me see if I can spell this right. I think this is day. Uh, oh, wait, maybe with a B. Excuse me. Yep, here you go. You see? Mm -hmm. This is like, where do you live? Mm. Or where have you been sitting? Mm -hmm. This is the yeah. verb form. But you see this same thing with the da? Yeah. The de, de. yeah. Okay, this is what happens in Tibetan. Yeah. Now Throughout I'm wondering the... if the English word sit and stay may be related. Yeah, they are. They come from the Sanskrit shta. Oh. Like shtan means country. Where does it dwell? Uh -huh. Dwelling place. Yeah. Kazakhstan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kazakhstan, Pakistan. 
the place that the Kazakhs dwell, the the place that the Pakis dwell, the place that the Hindus dwell, Hindustan. Hindustan, yeah. Yeah, Um, stay, sit, stand, um, all those come from the same word root. Wow. Samastiti, right? Equal standing pose, sti. Substantiate. Sama, same. Yeah, same is equal. And sta, sti, they all mean stand, okay? Cool. And there's there's tons of words that come from that. Okay, but I'm showing you the same kind of thing, but in Tibetan. Mm -hmm. Got it? All right. If you really get into it, it'll make your life easier. If you don't, it'll be... You'd be like, what am I doing? That's a lot. All right, here we go. Shukdenja. I think that's the end. Uh, Nope, there's one more part. La. Tukcheche. Okay, ha, so for zero dollars, tell me the three meanings of this word and what it means here. La, uh, it can be an honorific. Uh Uh-huh, honorific. It can be also also the, um, like, what's up? Like, Monday, what's up? Yes, Monday, perfect. And then it can be uh, like affirmative. Yep. Yes. And and in ancient Tibetan. In ancient Tibetan. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> is. Is to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll uh, see it in scripture yeah. sometimes. Older books. Um, okay. Things translated from like. A uh, sutras as opposed to the like kangir as opposed to the tangir, you'll see lot as to mean is, and it'll be weird if you don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you repeat the second one? Monday, I didn't get. That's Spanish that. for when you reply. If you ask, if your mother says, uh-huh. "Hi, John, come to dinner," you don't say, "Yeah, ma'am," or like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> Hi, John. Uh, I have a question. What, ma'am? What do you want? You say in English, we just say yes or how can I help you if you're being polite. But in Spanish, they say mande or mandeme, which is a form of the verb mandar, which means to order. So it means, please order me around. <laughs> how, what, what is your order? Like you're a waiter or something. <laughs> right? Okay, okay. The are nodding their heads. Okay, I did it. Okay. And tukcheche, what's that mean, Hasso? Uh, um, thank you. Perfect. What does it literally mean? E- give me each part, syllable. Tuk, honorific for heart. Good. What's the non-honorific for heart? Uh, ninja. Ning. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Ning. Ninja. Good. Ning. Ning. Um, and then J. What's that mean? J. I think is Lord, isn't it? Perfect. Like who? Like a jet some kappa. Perfect. Um, or what object has J in its name? Door J. Yeah. Perfect. Well, door J shouldn't it be Do J? It's not. Do J. Yeah, but this is a very unique exception when where the R, the head letter Ra, gets pronounced. Oh my God. <laughs> he learned. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing hustle. Perfect. And the che goes for big and like chen chempo. If I wasn't cheap, I'd give you money. Okay. Now <laughs> that was absolutely perfect, hustle. I'm very impressed. Imagine if you studied. Okay. Um <laughs> All right, Oscar, it's your turn. All right. But can we do something first? Oh, yeah, what is it? Can we compare the... When sitting means to come on and sit down and welcome? Can we compare how they use it? Sure. They just... The only difference is they make it a question. So... Shuktenja, right? And then they add yipe to make it a question. How have you been sitting, literally, 
right? But that becomes, how are you doing? Are you well? How have you been? Aso's beautiful translation, okay? Um, and then, yeah, so later on when they say, come in, yarpep, shuptenja, they just say, shuptenja, come in, relax, you know? This is basically, um, my casa es su casa, my casa es tu casa. That's the, when you, like, just totally relax, like, don't, it's like you're, just chill, right? Okay. Or in English, we usually say, make yourself at home. So that's basically that. Like, just chill out, man. Like, you're good. Raid the fridge. Mess up the bathroom. It's your house. <laughs> okay? All right, cool. Yes. If you can eat out of someone's fridge without asking, then, you know, you're at home. <laughs> okay, cool. Are you ready, Oscar? Yes. Um, I think me and Tasha switch. Anyway, you be so, you be so no, I'm, I'm supposed to be setting. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Setting la. Chapep. Chapep. Tang. Tanjak. Nanchung. 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 Oh, yeah. Chapep Nanchung. Chapep Nanchung. Friend setting. Welcome. Yep. It's actually mean more like holy setting, but I know what you mean. Well, dear Welcome. setting. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Dear setting. Welcome. Yeah. Literally, you've arrived. You've your holy your holy hand made it. Come in. <laughs> um, but it's basically welcome. You know, like oh my God, you're here. Come in, or you're welcome. And then I literally yard pep is come in, so I can't say that. All right. Um, la ye. Um, shukten ja ye pe. What's that mean? What's la ye? Uh, I have like yes, I'm here. Perfect. And Shukenja, you pay. How are you doing? Or everything is well? Like something like that. Everything is well Perfect. here. Perfect. Good. La you. Keran kusu depo yimpe. Translate. That's that's you again? Uh, is that supposed to be you? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I lost track. No, that's supposed, to be, that's supposed to be you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Go, yeah. Ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. you. Keran kusu de poyimpe? What's that mean? Uh, I'm well. And how are you? Good. Perfect. Why did why they answer la yi? I thought if you ask how are you, you say la yi. Yeah, but the question has like this. How has you said? Have how how you been? It's like how have you been or something like that. Right. So the yeah. answer is the same. Answer you is in it, so I say la like, you. La like you, you yeah. question, so you is the answer, yeah. right? And of course, the meaning as well, which is what you were. Is it in English okay. like, have you been well? You can answer like I have, or or that's yeah. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. Like, like uh, like have you been good? Yeah, I've been. I mean, you do say I've been good, but like, have you been well? I have. Yeah, totally okay. perfect. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't say have, but you'd say I have, right? Have you been good? Have. <laughs> They'd understand you, but it'd be weird. Um, okay, it's like if people use the pronouns too much in Spanish, right? Like you're like, like it, 
it works, but you're like, why do you keep saying I? <laughs> like, y'all tango, right? <laughs> um, you're like, uh, okay, we know it's you. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, this is my turn, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got goldfish memory today. La yi, can I What's that mean? I'm well. How are you? Perfect. Well, in this case, I would select, I'm fine, and you? Yeah, or just, have you been well? They basically said yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. Little, but it means I have, yes, I am well, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, La te your turn. Yeah. La, la te pollín. Yar pe. Shu. Se yar. Yar. Yeah. Yar pe. Yar pe. Shu ten ye. Shu ten ya. Yeah. Perfect. Shu ten ya. What does yar mean? Yar. Sit. No. Mm -mm. I don't remember. Anyone? Oh, is it like mar, like down? Yeah, opposite. I, I John just, Up. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mar is down. Yeah. Like there may, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Um, I think yar is actually to go up because the, uh, the, what's this, what's this ra, I John? Oh yeah, that that's a um, case uh, the direction, right? Um, uh, locative, how to say? Uh, oh no, it is like uh, di dir, yes. No, uh, it's ladun. Yes, ladun, uh, and when we add it, we get the locative. Huh? No, not locative. Not not locative. <laughs> okay. It's um, uh, it's a direct object. Um, case, whatever that one's called, I forget right now. Ah, it's like di, dir, te, ter, that, like that, no? Yeah, same. That's the dir. Yeah, mm. same. To, to here or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and shuktenja, what's that mean? Have a seat. Perfect. What does shuktenja yipe mean? Are you doing well? Perfect. Are you sitting well? <laughs> and um, la tukteche, what's that mean? Yes, thank you. Pretty much. Or sure in this case, because they invited him in, you know? Simon. Yeah, Simon way. <laughs> we got to do a cholo translation. All right, cool. You got it? Okay, you got it. Now I, um, well maybe I don't should do it last. That way she'll hear everyone else since she missed class. Lydia, you want to, you want to do it? Sure. Um, have you been following along pretty good? Uh, kind of. Okay, because we'll do the other part. We'll translate it into Tibetan. We'll try, okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll say it in the English and just try the Tibetan, right? Okay. Setting. Setting la. Perfect. You have arrived. Welcome. Don't read the answer right there. <laughs> What's the first thing you say when someone comes to the house? You say their name, holy you. And then? And then you say, welcome. Mm -hmm. In Tibetan? Um, 
chat chip. Yep, good. Chat pep. Nang, nang yep. chip. Yay, very good. Chap it nandrum. Um and then I have. How do you answer chap it nandrum? How do you say I have or have? Like you. Perfect. Are you doing well? Um well there's like different ways, but you, you could say it like Keran Kusu Deboyimpe. You can. What's the other way if someone's at your door? It's like shukten. Yep. Shukten ja. Shukten ja yipe. Perfect. Shukten ja yipe. Um. Yes, I am. How do you answer that question? Yipe. Not you. Perfect. Now, ans are you well in the usual way? Amazing. I'm well. There's a couple of ways you could say it. What, what's the shortest one? Yeah, perfect. And then what would be the short way to say, are you well? Cool. What's the way they do it here? I think they repeat it. Yeah, they just repeat it. Cool. I'm well. What's a longer way to say I'm well? I guess medium. Mm. Exactly. Good. Okay, please come in, sit down. I want to say shuronang. <laughs> that is sit down. That is, that would be perfect. But I think since they're at the door, it's a little, there's like a little formal thing you do. So how do you say come in? It's like, it means like come up, like arrive up. Oh, it's that yar thing. Yar. Yeah. How'd you say arrive? Arrived. Yar Yar pe? Yep, yar pe. Mm hmm. And sit down. I like shuronang. Um, shu. Shu dende? Close. Shu shu dende? Shu denja. Shu denja. Yeah. Good. And then thank you. Tuk cheche. Yeah. La, tuk cheche. They say la too. They don't, they don't put it here as a translation, but it just means, yeah, thanks, or sure, or whatever, right? Yeah. Okay, Lydia did it perfect. Lydia did it so perfect that me and Rivas are going to do it without the screen. You ready, Rivas? Sorry, Rivas. <laughs> of course not, but let's do it. Yeah, we can try. <laughs> this is good, though, right? I mean, yeah. we're repeating it so many times. If you listen to audio too and you do this in class, you'll get it fast. Okay. Um, uh, I'll, we'll just use each other's. I'll just use your name. Rivas <laughs> La. Uh, what does he say first? Oh yeah, Tap Tap Nanjum. Say I have. Yeah, say I have. Layu, Layu. Perfect. Um, ask me if I've been doing well. Warla, Kerang Kusure Poyimpe. Perfect, but there's a way if you're at the door, if you're at someone's door. Mm. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I was hearing that, but I didn't understand it. I wasn't in that class, so can you repeat it? Oh, yeah. Say, shukten ja yipe. Shukten. 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 Ja. Ja. Yipe. Shukten ja yipe. 
Yu Pe. Yu Pe. Shuk Ten Ya Yu Pe. Watch. Shuk Ten Ya Yu Pe. Shuk Ten Ya Yu Pe. Ooh, better. Shuk Ten Ya Yu Pe. Shuk Ten Ya Yu Pe. Yeah. You can't. Don't mix it though. Say Ja, not Ya. Shuk Ten Ya Yu Pe. Shuk Ten Cha. Ja, Ja, Ja. Ja. Like Ja Rastafari? <laughs> Just like that. You can't say, Ya Rastafari. <laughs> Don't be like. <laughs> okay, Shukten Ja Yupe. Shukten Ja Yupe. Okay, good. And I say, I say, La Yu. Keran Kusu Depo Yimpe. La Yu. Now ask me if I'm well. Ah, Keran Kusu Depo Yimpe. Ah. La depo yi, um, yar pep, um, what's he say? Oh, yeah, yar pep, shuk den ja. And then you say, I just invited you in. I said, come in, sit down. And you say, la, and then thank you. Yes. Uh, what, what was thank you? Chuk te che. Tup che che. Yeah, tup tup je. Tup je che. Exactly. Tup je che. Yay! That was pretty good. So, I John, only I John left. You ready, I John? Uh huh. I see. I, I have no choice. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you have a choice, trust me. <laughs> um, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to say it in English without the screen and you try to say it in Tibetan, all right? Mm -hmm. Can't do it. We'll go back to the screen. Don't worry about it. But this will test your recall um, and it will help your audio learning, okay? Mm -hmm. I, know, I know you're more of a visual learner, but this yes. will be good practice, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, setting. So how do you, how would you say setting? Holy Terin la, Terin la, dear, dear Terin, yes. Good, perfect, perfect. Um, um, you, you've you arrived, welcome. It's one uh, phrase. Yes, something with a hand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Chung, Chung, um, ah, Chung Pep, Chung Pep, you. Chape Piope, something. Ah, no, no, uh, Champ. In the end, it's just Chum, I remember. Yes, good. So one word missing. <laughs> Chape Nanjum. Ah, yeah, Chape Nanjum. Yes, Chape Nanjum. Yeah, it's a common phrase, it just goes together. Chape Nanjum. Chape Nanjum. Chape Nanjum. Okay. And then I say, um, I have, I have arrived. How do you say that? Yeah, I arrived. Yeah, I have. Layer, layer. That was layer. Exactly. Um, and then, how um, have you have you been sitting comfortably in your home? Shuk ten jam yope. Perfect. Shuk ten jam yope. Perfect. Amazing. Shuk ten jai yupe. Shuk ten jai yupe. And I say, um, I have. Yupe, again. <laughs> la yu. Ah, la yu, yes. Mm -hmm. Because yupe, then la yu. Yeah, yes. good. And uh, have you been well? Has your holy body been well? Kusu de po yimpe. That's we know. <laughs> yes. Uh, it is. Uh, Has your holy body been well? Kusu de buimpe. It ha it is well. It is well. Uh, la la de buim. La okay. de buim. Perfect. Come in. Oh my God! Shook. Ah no no no. Ya yar yar pep. Perfect. Um, sit down. 
Sure, thanks. La uh, Yay! Wow. Uh, actually, for, it is easy for me to understand why Yarpe, because it is the same in our language. When we say in Kazakh, we say like literally, please go to, uh, we have this word. So I think they are nomads or maybe. So the entrance is like low place and the have to come and up. yes it, it is up so please go up it means from the from the low down we say the same in our language please like go up into the yurt or something yes in, into the yurt so the entrance is considered as a low place and the, when we say please go to the up higher place it is exactly. that's why you are and the, that's why and the usually in the door and they are sitting and the, like how are you sitting there like maybe that's why like <laughs> yeah, like how have you been sitting? How have you been sitting here? <laughs> okay. so, cool. Yeah, for me, for me it makes sense. The, the only thing that I remember words <laughs> now. Perfect. Good. Thank you. Okay, I done did it perfect. Yeah. Everyone should be Thank impressed. You. It was her first she she wasn't even in the last class. Ooh, hi, John. That was good. I'm impressed. Ooh. I just repeated after. So how many times? Four times? I <laughs> don't embarrass the other students, okay? Yes. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay, good. So that is the dialogue. Okay, and so yeah, now so we're moving into building sentences. We did this last time. It's really simple. I don't think we need to repeat it. Um, well, this is actually repeating the dialogue, excuse me. Um, that's not the part I'm talking about. He, they go through the dialogue at various angles in various ways. We just went through it like pretty exhaustively, right? Um, let's look at the vocab. I don't think we've done that. But if you listen to the tape, they're gonna go over the, they'll do the English, so they'll, they'll do from Tibetan to English, they'll just do Tibetan, then they'll do Tibetan to English, and then they'll do each part repeating over and over, and then, then they'll do like English to Tibetan, okay? Which is basically what we just did. It's just a, if your mind can do that, then you know it, right? Okay, I'm gonna say a phrase. Anyone answer really quick what it means, okay? You ready? Phrase or word. Everyone on mute. Unless you have a unmute. Okay. dog or a baby in the background or something. <laughs> okay. Um, um, yard pep. Go up. I don't know. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Come in. Yes. Everyone's right. <laughs> um, Shuktenja. Sit down. Sit down. Perfect. Shuktenja, yepe. Are you doing well? Have you been? How? How have you been? Mhm. Um. Kran kesu, kran kesu da po yepe. How are you? How are you? La Cool. I have. I've been good. Yes, yes, and yes. Um. La I am good. I, I am, good. yes, I am. Yes. Um, Chapep Nanjo. Nanjo. Uh, how you been? Ah, welcome, welcome. Yes. Yeah. What's cha? Hand. Is it? Yeah. Me? Yes, it is. Holy hand. What pep? Arrive. Arrive. Yes. Oh, well. Oscar got it. What's nang? It's, it's the honorific of to do. It's just action. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you use it in polite speech, right? Ji ro nang. Right? Ah, that nang. Yeah. Yeah. Gao nang nang. 
And what's Chong Rivas? Chong? Um, I don't know. Rin Chen Chong. Is that big? Comes no. from. Or the source of. The source of jewels. Rin Chen Chong, right? Padma Sambhava came from the lotus. Same thing in, in um, Sanskrit. So okay. what does it mean? Once again, Chung means? Chung is the source of or came from. Oh, it's, very, okay. it's a very common um, verb. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a specific class of verbs in Tibetan, which uh, Sunam taught me about last summer. Um, that's like on the edge of my Tibetan knowledge, so I don't fully remember and can explain mm. it. But it literally means the source of, the origin of, or came from. Um, but within colloquial context, it's used in a specific way, along with nyong, which means the experience, and a couple other verbs, but I don't remember that. Like the, uh, yeah? Mm. Oh, that's a whole thing. Okay. Yeah, it's a whole class of verbs. I, I don't remember exactly. Okay, you all, perfect. Um, okay, so now to new vocab. Okay. Um, you know a lot of this already. Uh, Sue, what's that mean? Who? Yes. Um, Urusu is Russian. Okay. Urusu. Um, and uh, Paransi is. France or French. They don't have an F in Tibet. So they say Paransi, right? And uh, Russia also will be Urusu, yeah? Russian and Russia is the same. I think so. Urusu. I think it's both. Yeah, I think it's both. Like, um, uh, we had another one like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, I forget. Sopo is. Mongolian, I think Mongolian. Or I think no, Mongol is Mongolian or Mongol or Mongolia. Okay, tuk tuk tukje. Compassion. Compassion. What's the the non honorific form, Hasso? Ning. Yeah, Ning. Because what does Ning mean? Heart. Yeah, or Ningpo. Without the sa, what does Ning mean? Ning without the sa. Yeah, the saw head letter. Um, I don't know. It means, um, uh, it means life. Yeah, it means a life. I think it's related, like the heart, like your whole life or a heart. But it's not um, say setting life. That's life too. So tse and ning, either, no problem. Um, kind of. Usually the ning is in a phrase called ning sam jorwa, which you've seen, but you probably forget. It's, uh, it means there crossing. A, uh, huh? Sorry. There is another compassion next to the French. Yeah, that's the ning over there. This is ning. Sanatanya to ni na ning. Okay. So my compassion will, will be uh, ning je, and uh, someone's compassion, teacher's compassion will be tukche. No? Yeah. Tukche is usually like a lama or something like that. Okay. Um, and so, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Ning Sam Jorba, crossing into another life. Tam is like a border. Jorba is like an action, literally to join. Anyway, um, Yagarwa, Indian. How do you say India? Yagar. Yagar. What does the kar mean in this case? White. White? Yeah, how do you usually spell white? How do you usually say it? 
Carpa. Carpo. Carpo. Yeah. How do you spell that one? <laughs> D K A R Tao Kara Kar. So mm. this is another example. Even though it's not the same exact spelling, it's from the same row, right? Kar and Kar are related, both meaning white. Mm. Just like what I was showing you with down and and to sit or uh, a seat, right? Yeah, if you want to learn Tibetan and you want to translate, you'll see a lot of stuff like that. And um, certain words, if I don't even know them, I can kind of guess because it's related. And some Geshe will ask those random words and he'll give me money. <laughs> but it's an educated guess sometimes, you know? All right. So, yeah, me. What's me mean by itself? Uh, human? No, people? Yeah. Can... And so a gami is a... Chinese, uh, Chinese, Chinese person. What would be the full phrase? Well, what should be the full phrase? The full word, I guess. Tamiwa. Who said that? Who said? Someone said not. Say it. Say the whole thing, Hasso. Gyanak mean. Yeah, exactly. It should be Gyanak mean. Right? Because Gyanak is China. What's the Nak mean? Black. Exactly. As opposed to? Kar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yay. <laughs> Guys, I had to finish class early today. I made an appointment too early. Um, actually, I should finish class like after we do this part. I'm, um, I'm sure you can do something else with the next hour of your life. Um, Rivas is like, watch my kids. <laughs> Okay, Ningje means compassion if it's you or or your dog. <laughs> Unless your dog's a Buddha and Tukje. Um, <laughs> it's just there's a system of hierarchy in Tibetan speech. You may not agree with it, but that's how it is. And then Che, right? Same as Chempo. Chempo. Yeah. How do you say bigger? Oh my god, Chempo. It, it was a word, yeah. yeah. Chewa. Chewa. How do you say biggest? Cheje. No? Nice guess. Cheshu. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if you were here for that class, Rivas. I did it. I usually est in Tibetan is shu. Um, yeah. Shanaro uh, show sa shu. Yes, sure. Okay, I'm gonna end class now because I'm gonna I gotta run errands and help people and help myself and stuff. Um, but that that was an amazing class. You're all doing very well. Please stick with it, even if I quit because I'm crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, you're all doing very well. Keep studying, please. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. You're very Thank well. You. Thank you. Work. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 <laughs>